what was that like growing up when your, your parents love you, they, they take care of you, but being that poverty stricken, uh -huh. you know, um, what was your frame of mind when you were younger? Before even we talk about Jiu Jitsu, it's just growing up. Uh -huh. but, uh -huh. but what was that like? Uh, you know, like, uh, I, like I was as a kid before Jiu Jitsu, like, I think like uh, the, my reference was my parents. And my parents was like, giving so much themselves to, to us. I used to see how much they was working to give me what I, not just what I want, but I also like uh, to, at least to supply what we need. So what, what we need was sometimes was more important. So if you have what you need, so it, they were supplying what we, we want. Was there any sense of envy or jealousy towards the other kids who are like, you know what, we're not well off, but we're in this well off environment? The kids over there was not, sometimes they was looking at me as a different. And then when I go to my school, my school was inside the, the community, the, the favela. So all my, all my friends in the school was people who live in the community, not me. I was living in the building. Right. So for those kids, I was kind of rich. I was not poor enough to be with them. So in the beginning, that's why I believe so much Jiu-Jitsu, because before Jiu-Jitsu, I was struggling to find myself because when I go to in my in my place that I live, my friends sometimes there was, you know, like for when when we make when jokes and sometimes the joke was like, oh, you're not rich enough. When there was the other what the group was, oh, you're not poor enough because you live in this place. And then like in the jujitsu, when I was going to the school training jujitsu. Everybody was the same thing. Everybody with the same gi, different belt. People doesn't, class, doesn't, doesn't put yourself as a different social, how much money you have, what, what color your skin, what religion you are. It's a, it just like, just like training jiu-jitsu. And that's why the, 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 com, the, the community that I fit was through jiu-jitsu. And this gives me so much confidence in jiu-jitsu and I think the confidence was became, became because every day you win and you lose. Every day you win and you lose. Every sparring, you win the sparring. Every sparring, sometimes you lose. So winning you lose, winning you lose. You deal with, with loss and wins every day. So this gave me confidence enough to be myself as a kid. And then when I was going to the school, I was playing with the rich kids in my street, in my neighborhood. When they started the jokes, I was, I don't care. Because right now, I know my, my identity. So right. I knew, I already knew it, who, I, who I am. And then when you know who you are, you don't care about what people say. You don't care about people like a bully, your name is, or whatever he says, or whatever he gonna tell, because you know who you are, you know your potential, then you know like your, your life doesn't, you don't wanna get approved to nobody else, because now it's too late, now I learn. You didn't even wanna train in Jiu Jitsu because you wanted to train in stand up arts, right? Uh -huh. And the first person that taps you out is a female. Yes, yes. And this is like in the 90s. Yes. So this must have been a big shock yes. to get tapped by a female. Yes, I, I didn't quit the jiu-jitsu because I was so much ego, I was so much angry because, because I was not fitting those locations. You know, like I was going to one place, not fitting another place because I was expecting strike, so I, I remember like me, my brothers, my father watched Kung Fu movies, Bruce Lee, you know, movies. So when I heard like, oh, hey, I'm gonna put in the, the Kung Fu school. So my father thought it was Kung Fu or Karate. I say, okay, I wanna, I wanna go. I went there, I was grappling, I didn't like. And the, but what made me come back was because this girl, she beat me up. I said, I came back home so frustrated. My parents didn't take me there. So my parents didn't see the training. I come back, he asked if I like it. I say, no, no, not really. And he said, oh, you gonna quit? I say, no. Like, I think I always had a problem with quit. If you want me to do something as a kid, you just say, oh, you're not good enough. Or you, you quit. Right. So those was like, was giving me so much energy to prove that I can do it. So they say, no, I'm not gonna quit. I wanna, I never say why, but in my, in my mind, I would say, oh, I have to, you know, I had to pay back that girl before I stopped the jiu-jitsu. I didn't like this, but I, I only stopped I'm gonna after. get you back. Yes, but I could. So next day was the same thing. Next day, same thing. And then, but I was, like I said, like I was a smart kid too. Then I say, okay, if it works, 
with her against me and I'm stronger than her, it's going to work with me against my friends. And, and then I, 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 I'm not the biggest and the stronger from my group of friends, so this will help me. And, and beside this, the school I, I was having, in the, in the, in the jiu-jitsu, I was having a lot of fun. So you want to be able to control the distance more using your knee. Okay. Because of your frame. So it's a, your frame. It's a knee shield. Okay. Yes. So working the balance to one side, you know, like to keep the, 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 the thing. You can work with your legs to have power to sweep. You can, or even the beginning when you, be, be, before when you're here, so you can start, I, I, I like so much to, to move the, the arms, to cross the arm, okay. because here, all the defense and attack, it's based in the keep the person in front of you. So once I'm in front of you, you're gonna protect yourself, you won't even attack me. But if I, if, I, if I cross your arm, so then you have to get out of this first. So if you're able from the close guard or open guard, that if you'll be able to control one hand and then across the arm, so the person on top, he need to respect the distance that you create right now. If you try to get close to me, you have no balance. Right. So you need, and then I can slowly move to, my, to the side to go to the back. I can move my leg to work the sweep. Once I control one of your arm, I control the way to go to the back. I control your balance because now you cannot put your hands in the ground. I can control to like to move myself, but if you if I'm doing your arm, whatever I go, I block. Whatever I move, I block. Whatever I try to skate, you hold me. So I think one of the key is the grips in the hands. That's I think I, that's my think as that first thing. Okay. It's make your grip to control his hands because without the grip, he cannot attack. So that's a, and then from here, it depends on what he move because it's reaction. So you can go to the back. If you try to land his weight on top of me, so you can, you can move, you can sweep. Instead that just make the grip and open to spider guard, I'm mm -hmm. still able between your arms. So the strong grip will help, we will, we will win. But if you can able to cross the arm, doesn't matter how fast or how strong the person on top will be, my grip will, I don't need to be strong to make this, but now I, I'm controlling your power. Because right. uh, you cannot step, if you step back, if you, pull, you drag me with you to your back. Okay. If you try to land your body weight on top of me, you lose your balance to the side.